today the 10th national <coughs> symposium on recent trend in the science and technology our today a keynote speaker professor mahan our executive member and dean of the science faculty professor gc bimani ji our own campus father is going to complete the phd work in the in next few day would be doctor <laughs> father then <laughs> doctor father anish the principal madam fernandes the convener of this national national level event professor ganguly my colleagues in the christ college teacher invited from the affiliated colleges all learned delegates from the various colleges and invited guests friend the christ college is always to organize a one by one a event every year it is a, a very regular a process many times they have invited a good speaker from national level as well as a international level last year at the time the vibrant was going on in the step at the time they invited nobel prize laureate in the campus so it is not uh, considered as a very normal a uh, campus we are friend the environment of the country is very close to 43 million people is study a uh, undergraduate diploma or degree gross enrollment ratio is very close to country is 24.5 that reach to the below the average of the a globe the world average is 30 a person ger the advanced economy the cross element ratio is very close to a 50 at 3 person we are far far away from the the world average out of this 4 crore 30 lakh students 43 million students studying in the a undergraduate courses diploma and degree out of them 14% student are basically coming from the pure science at a time the question is how and what way we can you know the the putting our a graduate to the market professor this ibumani has rightly appointed out the people are not getting admission and medical and other special grants now engineering is not a considered as a privileged branch because many engineering college is a vacant and many are you know in the process of close down to in the ai city the structure is changed and everybody is they're doing a very different way my dear friend i am giving the a little bit the information about the uh, placement is concerned the before a uh, one week i have read the one news in the a uh, mint a technical news paper the placement ratio is increased compared to the 2017 and now is little bit improved i create a incremental value addition in the graduate placement is concerned but then also the overall graduate of the country only 24% people are placed in the market 76% people are not employed 
that is the heaven of the survey attained by the Times of India group. But the latest news I have read that is improved in the engineering and science reduced. This is 240% in the particular ranks. It gives a very good sign for the pure science people. Dear friend, the science and technology have played a very vital role for end development of the country. I am giving you a little bit data related to the, the job. The America itself is contributing a $16 trillion a contribution in the world in GDP. Chinese is contributing a $12 trillion economy. Whereas, the India is contributing a $2.5 trillion economy. We are comparable to Chinese economy. The population almost all very close to China. We are 1.25 billion people and China is very close to 1.31 billion people. The per capita income is different. Why we are far, far away from the, the Chinese economy? Five times, four times, four and a half times. And America, the population is very close to 30 crore. Five times less compared to the India. But the contribution is 16 trillion dollars. Arun Chetli has, you know, the highlighting, the forecasting about the Indian economy. We will be in the 2020. Our economy, the wealth is very close to a $5 trillion economy and we will be the third highest economy in the world. My dear friend, many challenges are there. The German is very, a very small country. But they produce a more and more patents, copyright, trademarks, and innovation. Our contribution in the globe is very close to half percent in the R&D. Our higher education is concerned, we contribute in the higher education less than 4 percent of the total GDP. The any advanced country, they contribute for the higher education is 6 to 7 percent, 8 percent. We are far, far away from the, the recent trend is concerned. And that's why the Professor Mahan is here today. He is basically from Tata Institute. And the Professor of Mathematics. He can develop, you know, the model and metrics. How and what way we can reach to the, the any advanced economy. We have a talent. We have a potential opportunity. But the challenge is how to reach, come across, how to coordinate with this talent. Because the people are talking about the artificial intelligence. Indian is play a vital role in the US and Europe. You go to any a good a lab, a good university. I was there in the Bristol University in the last year for full day. Many Indian professors I had, you know, they come across. Indians are intelligent, but they are coming to the, the, the Indian economy, the IIMs, the IIT, they are the, a prominent institute in the country. But how many the people, you know, they out of that, they pass out from the IIT and IIMs, how many, you know, they stay in the country. It's a big challenge for the Indian economy, that we cannot you know, the, uh, retain these people in the country. And the survey is indicated when I was in the IIM for faculty development program in 2000-2001, at that time 67% pass out, it basically settled in the Europe and America. And they produce the package can very close to 1 crore to 1 crore, yeah, 25 lakhs rupees. Because we are not accepting, absorbing the our talents in the country. And that's why the people, you know, they expertise, they use the advance a country. And we have to, you know, to think the matrix strategy we have to change. 
and our pure science people, we have to invite them all. Uh, but it's not happening, then you cannot, you know, the, the manage and retain your talent to the country. We need a good people in the science and technology. Our people is doing excellent job in the US. You go to the Pentagon or any central research laboratory, our people are everywhere. And that's why the QS ranking, now the ranking phenomena is, you know, aggressively work in the global level. The QS ranking, the Shanghai Geotong University Shanghai ranking, global ranking, national ranking, our own ranking NIRF, many hurdles are there. And the policy maker, particularly the university vice chancellor, the executive body, state government, central government, reform the policy in the transparent way. Otherwise, a young talent you cannot absorb in the market. And it is a big challenge for the India. But if we manage a particular way, and that's why the Modi, the our honorable Prime Minister is always saying, okay, we are going to the young India in 2020. At that time, our average age of Indians is very close to 29. At that time, the 65% population are ready to work in the country. I one survey I have read in the 2017, in the end of the day, the one technical newspaper I have read, the China in the last five years is a learning remarkable, you know, the opinion. And China in the last five years, 60 5 million people created a new job in China. And the last year, 2017, 11 million new jobs they have created in the, the market. And out of this 11 trillion, 1 crore 10 lakhs people place in the market. Out of that, 80% basically from the graduate, very skilled workforce they provide. And that's why they are managing the a job market well. Dear friend, 2018, the target of Chinese is 13 million people and more. 30 million means they're very close to 1 crore 30 lakhs. The one, the data I have read before the 15 day, in the organized sector, India has done the excellent job for the a job market, 4 lakhs people, a place in the market in the organized, organized sector. Dear friend, the organized and unorganized sector, we come to the all. The 20 lakhs people we have placed in the market in 2017. And this year, the planning, forecasting about the, the budget. The Modi ji has said that now this year, 2018, we will place a new job in 70 lakhs. 70 lakhs means 7 million. Now, compared to the Chinese economy, so what is the reason behind that? The reason is they contribute in the manufacturing sector 32% of the GDP, where we produce 16% of GDP from the manufacturing sector. And that's why the government is trying to give a concept of making India, a digital India, startup, entrepreneur scheme. What is going to add? It is going to add a value addition in the placement market, a new job. Otherwise, there is no any opportunity to create a job market in the country. My dear friend, subscribe of evening, the National a Science Symposium. It will create an opportunity for the young researcher, the young people, the sitting in the front of us, the 1,000 delegates, the young, talented, a delegate from the various colleges coming and listening, the keynote speaker, the good speaker coming from the national level, the Tata Institute is one of the prominent institute so far the research is concerned. And today, uh, with us, uh, Professor Mahan, I, on behalf of the university and my other colleagues on behalf, I welcome uh, Professor Mahan. He is going to, you know, the give a keynote address that will be, you know, the created every common understanding for my young people sitting in the front of you. Thank you very much. Bharat Mada ke jai. Bande Mata. Thank you.
प्रोफेसर महान